Hello, welcome back to the second part of our tutorial on creating multiple screens with an App Inventor. Last time we talked about what we were trying to do with multiple screens and I showed you how to make a clear screen procedure. So essentially what we're doing here is making our home screen and our email screen, we're setting those to false so that we can call this up later and make our changeover from screen to screen a little bit easier as we'll see in a second. And just to recap, I wanna show you what we're trying to do here. I've got two screens, which are really just two different table arrangements placed on this first page in App Inventor. And I've got this one with the buttons here set to the home screen. And this down here is actually my email form, which I've set to my email screen. So when I click the email us button, I want my email form to show up and I want these home buttons to disappear. And conversely, when I press the back button, I want the email form to disappear and I want these home buttons to show up again. So let's take a look at our blocks editor and figure out what we need to do. So for starters, now that we have two screens that we're working with in this app, it's best to set our screen one initialize procedure to show only the home screen and not the email form. And how we do that is by going to my blocks and we'll find screen one, which is uh, a little bit deceiving here. Screen one has nothing to do with our home screen or our email screen, the two that we're going to be switching back and forth between. I can explain screen one as in, what do you want to happen when the app is turned on? So when somebody clicks on the app, what's going to show up on screen one? So we'll click screen one, and you'll do this with quite a few apps that you create, and you definitely want to do it when you're creating multiple screens. We'll find the screen one initialize. So what do we want to happen when we initialize screen one or turn on the app? We want the home screen to show up and we want the email screen not to show up. So let's find our home screen and we want to find the visibility component. So set the home screen visibility to something. So we're going to use our logic controls here under the built-in tab and we want that to be true. When screen one initializes or we turn on our app, we want home screen to be visible. Yes, we do. That's true. Now we want to take our email screen and set its visibility to false. So now when we turn on our app, our home, home screen will be visible and our email screen will not be visible because that's false. Now we can take the logic from this screen one initialize and apply it to the actions we want to take with our buttons. So the first thing we want to do, and I'll just give you a quick visual here, is when we click this email button, we want our email form to show up down here. And then when that back button shows up, if we click that, we want this to show up again. and We want that email form to go away. So we're going to start by finding our email button, which in this case is labeled our email us button. So when the email us button is clicked, and this is where I can pull in this clear screen procedure here because I want to be able to clear the screen out entirely and then tell the app what I want to show up after the clear screen. So where do you find the clear screen that we created? Well, it's under the My Blocks tab, and we created it ourselves as a procedure. So it's under My Definitions. So I can find clear screen here. So when the email button's clicked, I want to clear the screen. And now I want to show the email screen. So let's find our email screen, pull the visibility component out here, and I want that to be true. All right, so now we can do the same thing with our back button. Remember when we press the back button or when we click it, we want the email form to go away and we want the home screen to show up again. So let's go to my definitions. We'll pull up the clear screen again. So when we click the back button, we clear the screen out and then we want to show our home screen as visible again. So we'll pull out home screen visible. We'll find our logic controls again and we'll make that true. Great, so our app is set up when it's turned on to have just the home screen visible and the email screen is not visible. And then when we click the email us button, we're going to clear the screen and show the email screen. And then when we click the back button from the email screen, we clear the screen and show the home screen. Let me pull in the emulator and show you what that looks like. I'm going to click the email us button. Now we see our email form here. 
If I click the back button, now we're back to our home screen. So as you can see, we're not really creating two separate screens in App Inventor. What we're really doing is changing the visibility of some of these components so that they're visible only at the right times, which gives the appearance of multiple screens.